डॉक्टर पटनायक तो बोला डॉक्टर सम्मान कहाँ है और गेस्ट हाउस में रूम मिल गया ना सर मिल गया
Uh, sir, good afternoon, sir. Uh, Raja, good afternoon, Raja. No, sir, good afternoon. I'm just waiting for uh, director of in instruction to join, sir. Just, uh, okay. I'm waiting for his uh, arrival. Fine, just... Raja, fine. Okay, sure, okay. College of Articles students are there, Raja? Yeah, they are there. College of Articles students also they are there. Okay. okay. Today also passing out is raining, Raja. No, it's not raining, sir. Oh, good. Very good. Then. Today's weather is fine. Okay. Even then, then uh, little bit uh, network problem. So okay. we are ready now. Okay. okay.
Yes, I have joined, Doctor Raza. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Now audible, sir. Okay. Yes, sir, just I'm unmuting uh, Dean, sir. Also, just he is also on the line. Uh, I'm un unmuting him. Yeah, he is also now uh, the line, sir. Yes, yes. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar, namaskar. Sir, can you start? Sir, can you start okay, now, sir? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. After a long time, uh, seeing yes, you. Sir, yes, sir. Yeah. Mila, who put on the list? Mila. Usko dhun diya. Usko order. Can I start now, sir? Yeah, you start. You start. Yes, sir. Let's start. Respected, oh, most Italy. respected, most respected uh, chief guest of uh, today's inaugural function of two days um, agri business and agri startup experience and opportunities and the agricultural innovation system for development. Uh, chief guest of uh, today's program, Dr. S. Basanda Singh, Director of Instruction, Central Agriculture University, Imphal. I welcome you, sir, uh, from on behalf of our College of Horticulture and Forestry, IDP Nagheb Cell. Um, secondly, I welcome our uh, respected uh, Dean, sir, Professor B. N. Hasarika, Dean, as well as Nodal Officer for this IDP Nagheb project. I welcome you, sir. And thirdly, our resource person, Dr. Sa uh, Saravanan Raj. Uh, manage director manage agricultural extension Hyderabad. Uh, I welcome you, sir. I thank you for accepting our invitation and conducting this uh, two days online uh, training course on agri business and agri startup. This is a great opportunity for the students to learn uh, in this uh, uh, pandemic era. So what we can learn it, uh, how the agricultural system has to go, how we can start up uh, various opportunities in this agriculture and horticultural field. And uh, I would like to uh, speak a little bit about our resource person, uh, um, Dr. Saravanan Raj, sir, as a director of agricultural extension. He has started his career in Pasikat, the remotest parts of uh, India. Um, in Arunachal Pradesh, Pasikar. He's, he went even every corner of the villages. Uh, he interacted with the farmers and started the uh, innovative ideas to how to start up even the fishery, poultry, and uh, advanced uh, things to the farmers. And many, many ideas he carried to the even the villagers. Uh, I thank you, sir. And I hope uh, students will be benefited through your lectures. Um, now, uh, may I request our uh, Professor B. N. Hazarika, sir, Dean and Nodal Officer uh, to speak some few words. Sir. Things have disconnected. Doctor Raja, Professor Sorry, guys, sir, is disconnected. I think uh, director yeah, of yeah, extension yeah. is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yes, disconnected. May I request now our 
director of instruction uh, today's uh, chief guest uh, to speak uh, and address to the uh, participant sir please so good afternoon all dr hazarika our dean college of horticulture and forestry prasigat dr raja co nodal officer of this uh, project dr sarvanan raj my old friend and uh, all my beloved students participants ladies and gentlemen you know today's uh, online training program on agri business and agri startups is very relevant to this uh, project national agriculture higher education project you know this uh, the central agriculture university in pal is uh, very fortunate to have this uh, idp under national agriculture higher education project so this project is implemented only in uh, 16 agriculture universities in the country and our university is uh, one of the project site and i think some uh, technical problem let me check if it has disconnected or not i think disconnected sir is disconnected uh, uh, wait for a while i'll admit uh a director of extension is just joining just i think yes join now i'll uh, just uh, admit to him yeah he has joined uh, there are some issues uh, with this mic just wait Dr. Raja, Professor Khasari also is there. Uh, just let me check. Yeah, now he is uh, available. Uh, uh, Professor Khasari is there. Guys. Yeah, he has joined. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll ask him to speak. Uh, Adin sir, sir. Yes. Yes, uh, yes. Sir, uh, actually, you can uh, uh, address the audience because if there was a connectivity problem, um, Pasanda sir will address him. He disconnected. Sir, I request you request you to address the participants. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay then. So well, uh, good afternoon to everyone. Our respected director of instruction, Basan Singh Sahab from the headquarter, is on the on the line, and Dr. Sabanon is also 
in the picture and all the dear viewers and dear student friends so indeed it is an opportunity to get connected to you people and uh, we are now uh, it is the uh, third uh, session of the idp nahab of college of horticulture and forestry pasighat uh, today we are uh, we are inviting our dr uh, s sarvanan ji for delivering his talk on agri startup as you know student friends uh, now uh, agricultural education system has changed uh, right from this uh, the philosophy of uh, job seeker to the job giver so in that connections uh, our uh, idp nahep is organizing various kind of training from the inviting the resource persons and dr sabarnan has uh, invited for today's deliberations and we hope that uh, by this deliberations you will be very much uh, uh, happy with his lectures and uh, he will be delivering about the agri startup today and tomorrow also he will be addressing uh, so i hope uh, that uh, during the course of his deliberations he will be um, getting a lot of knowledge on and various success stories on agri startup in the country and uh, i do hope that uh, you will be enjoying his lecture with these few words i once again thank you dr samanan as well as our director of instruction for giving us time at uh, this session of the students for under the idp nahe program thank you very much uh, sir thank you very much sir now i'll give time to our director of instruction he's online I'll just uh, uh, ask him to complete his uh, speech, sir. Director, sir. Sorry. Sorry that my internet has gone from the university, so I am joining from mobile. I am very sorry. You know, this uh, one of the very important uh, this lacuna in the agricultural university system in the country is that our graduates employability is very low. as compared to iits and the other management institutes so one study found that something is lacking behind to our graduates our pass out graduates you know this uh, students from iits and iims so many startup programs have already started but they are changing their job sons so why they are very successful even though they are changing the jobs they are very successful in agri pioneers because they have the skills how to how to have business so this is lacking this skill is lacking in most of the agriculture graduates in the agriculture university systems in the country so this project on this uh, nation agriculture higher education for this one project so the main objective of this project is so the main objective of this project is uh, to produce globally competitive agri pioneers instead of seeking the jobs our graduates after passing out from the colleges they become job providers so this under this project there is one component there is national training and workshops so a lot of this provision budget provision is given under this national training programs so there is lot of opportunities for engaging very learned resource persons from reputed institutions from the country as well as from the from airport so even we have the international training component so under this our students has to expose for 3 months in international universities international institutes so that they learn about the business so this is very important and uh, 100 students from the six colleges has to send for this international 
exposure or international training programs in relevant subjects. And not only the students, we have the provision for this one, exposing our faculty members to foreign universities in frontier areas. So we already selected 20 faculty members for this financial year. In the next financial year, we have to select another 20 faculty members. So this project actually is very rare opportunity for the Central Agriculture University in fall, so that our graduates, they, they become perfect employees of the country, not only in every business, wherever they go, wherever they join, they will become very successful in their life. So my appeal to the students, particularly our students, don't miss any opportunity whenever organized by the colleges or by the universities. This is your program only. We are spending a lot of efforts and manpower in terms of this finance. A lot of these uh, efforts have been given for you. So don't miss any opportunity whenever we organize or any college organize any training programs related to this project. Uh, so I request to the resource person so, so they have to learn from basics. So many of them are not uh, they are this one aware about what is entrepreneur, what is entrepreneurship, what is skill development, what is communication skills. So I request to all the resource persons, learner resource persons, please go from basic to details. So with these few words, I congratulate Dr. Raza for doing this training program successfully. This is the second or third in the series. And many third programs, third, so many programs are going, coming in the future. We have to organize four programs in a month, means one program in a week in this. So this is an opportunity for the students with these few words. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for uh, uh, addressing the participant, highlighting the importance of uh, IDP Nahe project, which uh, uh, under your leadership, uh, we are doing it, sir, in the college. Thank you for your all the interest and uh, supporting and providing all the facilities and needful things for execution of this project. Thank you very much, sir. Now, without uh, delaying time, I'll hand over the uh, uh, platform to the, our speaker, uh, Sir Ronan, sir. Sir, please take your time. Respected Dr. Basada Singh, Director of Instruction from Central Agriculture University and uh, Professor uh, B.N. Khazariga, Dean of the College of Articles and Forestry, Pasega, Tarnachal Pradesh, and Dr. Raja uh, for giving opportunity. Thank you very much for uh, giving opportunity. I am part of this Central Agriculture University. Still, I feel I am one among them, I was there 2002 to 2014, I was there. It's always good to back to Pasigat and to meet Pasigat, my colleagues and uh, students. And uh, today I will talk about agri startups and agri business. I may start with uh, agri business, then I'll go for startups, different startups. And, uh, but I may not uh, go for theoretically what it is uh, business, what like that. I will go practically so that we can have more question and answer later on and straight away I go for the presentation what manage is doing last almost two decades for promoting agribusiness in the country and we will share our experiences of uh, promoting agribusiness and also we are promoting large number of startups across the country those experiences i will say and we can have the discussion later on whatever questions we can have somebody when while uh, doing class when while uh, delivering session also if you have any queries we can put in the chat box Dr. Raja, somebody they may put later on, they will moderate, they will put all the questions to me and we will try to answer all your questions. And I'm very happy to see almost now it is 460 students and a few there are faculty members all there. It is very happy to see a large number of you all. And I hope my yeah, session will be going to be useful for you. Okay. And I will say straight away, yeah. share me.
Dr. Raja, PPT is visible? Yeah, visible, sir. Yeah, I will start with agribusiness, then agri startups, and uh, what experience and what opportunities are there, and uh, then we can have the question and answer and discussion. And uh, I will talk about very specific uh, specific program on agri clinics, agri business centers, AC, ABC scheme, uh, a, a flagship program of the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, the Government of India, and uh, it is started somewhere 2002. The basic idea behind this scheme was better farming by every farmer. And uh, this ACABC scheme, uh, it has uh, two components. And it is one is agri clinics. As you know, doctors and doctor clinics, you all are aware. Uh, just like doctor clinics, providing the advisory to the farmers. Another one is agri business center. Any commercial activity in agriculture, and they can do. Any Normally, farmers are doing production related activities for marketing and all but little more next level going for any commercial activity in agriculture, agri sector, but for that we'll see, agri business centers we'll see. So we'll and see that signature has spoken with you. So, Madam, for, for, for Raja, somebody to can you mute? No, somebody are discussing. Raja, can you mute others? Temporary, sir. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. And this agri clinics, agri business centers, uh, it has the network across the country. There are 140 nodal training institutes. Most of them are NGOs, and there are KBKs, and there are state agriculture universities, central government institutions, and uh, state government institutions, those who are dealing with agri business. And also, there is a private universities and the state agriculture management extension training institutes are there, and there are few ICR institutes. These all across the country, they are conducting the these 45 days training program for developing agripreneurship among the agriculture graduates, diploma holders, and science graduates. And this program was started somewhere in uh, it was started from 2002, and it was almost 18 years. It is a multi partnership model. You can see it is the scheme is from the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. And it was implemented by Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and uh, implemented through Manage, National Institute of Agriculture Extension Management, Hyderabad. And we select large number of uh, nodal training institutions, those who are maybe those who are working in agriculture NGOs or agriculture universities, ICR universities, ICR, Kisri Vigyan Kendra, state departments, or even private agri companies are the eligible for to run this training program. Actually, there are they are nodal training institute for the running this training program. They will provide 45 days capacity building and hand holding for the agri partner capacity building on agriculture uh, to start the business. And once they are starting business, they also connect with the banks and uh, bank loans and uh, bank loan is uh, in, uh, linked with the subsidy also with the NABAD subsidy also for uh, women and the women and those who are not East SCST all they will get 44% of the subsidy and others they will get 36% of subsidy. And it is uh, maximum, they will give up to 20 to 25 lakhs uh, loan they will give for the starting the program. If the DPR is good and the candidate after getting the training is able to convince the bankers. And after getting the loan or starting with his own money, this agri partner after getting 45 days training, he start the extension service and employment to the farm, extension service and also he provides the employment to others extension service to the farmers and uh, he may give employment to other agri graduates or diploma holder the basic idea behind this program is to start the self employment scheme for the agriculture graduates that's the first one and once if you start the self employment scheme for agri graduates they may start the agri business centers or agri clinics once you start agri business centers or agri clinics then they will support the public extension system they will support the farmers providing the advisory and so that in turn, providing self-employment for the agriculture graduates and uh, they are supporting the public extension through providing, providing the private agriculture consultancies to the farmers. They in turn, they develop their agriculture development. That was the basic idea behind this scheme. It was started somewhere 2002. And so far, last 18 years, we trained somewhere around 72,874 uh, they were trained. And after 
72,800 trained, 31,000 they are already established agri ventures. It may be the agri consultancy or it may be the agri business centers. Almost 43 percentage of the people they are already in the field. Those who are trained, they are having the ventures or agri clinics to support the farmers and others. And not only supporting the farmers, they also provide employment to the other graduates and other rural youth like that they will provide employment. And on average, our study says six to three people, they are giving the employment opportunity. And on an average, at least 650 to 900 farmers, they are reaching each successful agri partner. It was uh, since 2002, we are doing it. But the basic problem this scheme is getting the loan. Many of the students come from diploma holders or BSc agriculture. Uh, it is uh, They need to convince the bankers and they DPR need to be uh, it is appropriate and it is economically feasible, then only they will get the loan. But many of them, they fail to get the loan. Over the years, if you see, only 4% 4, 4 of the people are getting the loan. So basically, there are problem with the DPR or that uh, particular candidate or bank manager not willing to give because of the many reasons. But on an average, 43 percentage of the uh, agri partners, those who are trained, they are already established and they are doing some service to the farmers and they are having the agri business units. And if you see, if you analyze different type of agri business, there are nearly 32 different type of agri business. There are, I seen those who are participant from horticulture, they are from entomology, they are from other different subjects, they are there, you can see, uh, even engineers are there. There are different areas, there are 32 different areas they are starting the, uh, these agri clinics, agri business centers, maybe floriculture or horticulture or landscaping or direct marketing or farm machinery units or uh, it is custom firing centers or cultivation of uh, medicinal plants or animal feed units or agro. Some of them, Maharashtra, they are starting agro eco tourism or tourism units, farm tourism, agro tourism units. That is, uh, it's very interesting, very innovative. Those agro tourism units they are starting. And some of them having only agri clinics, they will give only advisory to the farmers. And some of the mushroom cultivation and producing spawn and selling and uh, giving the consultancy how to cultivate the mushroom like the farmers they are giving. So others are sericulture and even some of them producing their own biochemical agents and they are supplying to the farmers along with the agriculture advisory. Some of them interestingly doing they are agro advisory, agro journalism they are doing there. Somebody preparing the journals magazine on agriculture and also they are producing videos and uh, CDs, videos on agri agriculture, how to cultivate uh, advanced, uh, using advanced technology like that. They are working on this agriculture journalism area also. Somebody having rural goodons, a uh, few of them working on fisheries development and some, many of them working on dairy poultry and figury goat tree, these areas. And there are somebody vegetable production and marketing. There are tissue culture units established for our agriculture, these graduates. And some of them are doing seed processing and marketing. There are, there are somebody providing fishery clinics. The, uh, they will provide the advisory for the fishery development and some of them veterinary clinics those provide veterinary advisory for the farmers and other livestock owners even some of them mobile veterinary clinics also in kerala they are running and many of them provide value addition in the horticulture and other products they will try to post harvest and value addition in the different millets and horticulture crops they are doing some of them they are producing pesticides and they are marketing and some of them working on the supply chain management, they produce the organic production and give advisory and they will work on the food chain also. Some of them working on landscaping and nursery related and many they are working in horticulture clinic also. These type of different type of advisory or this type of uh, agri business they are working. Most of them are agriculture graduates or diploma holders. And uh, if you see some of them, it is not only making something like uh, only doing some business. Many of them are innovators. Well, after completing their training and based on their BSc agriculture knowledge and they will start, they will identify the farmer's problem and they will start identifying some of the innovative mechanic farm equipment, something like this. You can see in the flame, in this PowerPoint, you can see somebody on a sprayer and somebody on a hydroponic, somebody on a other fertilizer dispenser and uh, somebody on uh, solar based fest stepper. Somebody on tree plantation and somebody on headlamp. For example, last one you can see it's a headlamp. It is somewhere in southern part of the country. 
jasmine flowers you might be knowing jasmine it comes only early morning and farmers are going to pluck the jasmine flowers very early morning 2 to 2 to 3 o'clock they will go to the field when going the field farmers are facing the typical problem whenever they go to the field early morning uh, there are lot of snake bites snake bites are reported and farmers are dying here advisory for the advisory for the jasmine cultivation it is not necessary farmers problem is how to go morning hours and uh, they how to avoid the snake bites because there is uh, remote farms and there is no electricity there is no light that's why our one of the agri purana suresh kumar he come out with the headlamp it's a solar powered headlamp he will take that headlamp and uh, whole day they will charge and early morning they will go with that headlamp and uh, when plucking this uh, jasmine flowers the light will be there so that they can avoid the snake biting like that if you see many of our uh, agri graduates they will come out innovations based on the farmers problem for example another one you can see here he is from uh, karnataka northern part of the karnataka near darwad he is making the solar powered solar powered uh, farm equipments he, he is a be engineering graduate he himself makes the all solar powered machineries for the farmers use with the low cost machineries he will make and he supply to the farmers he is sangappa from karnataka and also he makes hydroponic unit solar based sprayer and mixer also he used to use and these are some of the our like this different areas they are having innovations through this innovation they will make the agri business for example somewhere you can see mobile agriculture school and services mas like that it is from jharkhand mr vijay bharat is msc graduate he reaches almost 1 lakh farmers 100000 farmers and he uses the bus to reach the farmers and bus become the training center and also he supplies all the input everything another person you can see ranga reddy everything related to horticulture he provides all the advisory and also market connect he gives he takes the produce and he connects and also he provides the inputs to the farmers like that you talk about any agriculture uh, horticulture based this vegetable production any advisory or uh, any support this all support he provides through himself and he connects the farmers taking uh, produce in the better price he provides farm press vegetable on wheels like that he is running he connects with 3000 farmers on advisory and also doing agri business collects his all produce like almost like contract farming and he sells to the directly to the consumers like this business he is doing this all agriculture graduates another one you can see jharkhand there is a mobile wet clinic is happening and through this wet clinic he reaches almost 5000 farmers and he provides the veterinary services to the farming community and another one is even the cities they provide mobile pestomic controls like that the pest this for example mosquito related services also they are providing somebody is from maharashtra and another one is uh, other agri business it is ict based for example fisheries there is a vichwa aquaculture and uh, advisory services like that sits in remote part of the nellu somewhere in nellur and remote part of the all the villages through only online he provides the advisory and he charges for that like that he is making agri business and uh, another person you can see he is from west bengal ict based tablet for the complete agriculture information to the farmers west bengal he is using somebody from karnataka they use mobile cotton up these all agriculture graduates trained from the aca bc agri clinics agri business centers using this ict based tools they will provide advisory they also earn from there for there it is uh, it is not a Uh, they are not working in the any government offices they are their own innovations and they support the farmers through services and you can see some of them they will come out with their own varieties while doing agri business they will they will come out with new varieties and they will uh, those varieties they will multiply they will sell to the farmers those seeds and they will get the benefit from selling those seeds they will multiply they do business and they will they will come out with the new varieties whether it is rice or it is uh, onion or papaya and they will come out with uh, new varieties they will breed and they will make business out of these new breeds and also they will provide the agri consultancy agri business they will do by inventing by by doing new breeding new and coming out new new varieties you can see this all innovative breeders are there and another one is many of them they will do on veterinary most of the veterinary doctors those who are trained for the developing agri business in this scheme they will do for the veterinary related services for example dr gajendra bamaniya is in the gujarat 
he provides artificial insemination services mostly indigenous somebody many of them can tamil nadu or maharashtra you can see gujarat most of them the work on indigenous cows and they related services to livestock people they used to provide this all mostly studied in the veterinary and few of them even agriculture ganapati ram is the agriculture graduate but still they provide indigenous cattle breeds conservation and uh, other support services they will provide to the farmers and they will get the charges for this consultancy charges for this like that they are working on indigenous cows and other thing and you can see some of them west bengal i already told they have entire mobile based application and with that application they reach the digital extension through online uh, digital extension they will reach the farmers and uh, they will support the farmers and through that they will get the and the consultancy fee and you can see somebody on polygos they work on polygos they develop the model polygos and they also give consultancy to the farmer how to make plastic culture in their farmers field and first they will start doing it yes they will show some model units like demonstration units and other farmers will visit and they will get the consultancy from and annually you can see every annually he is getting 1 crore for him see employed for three persons and reaches nearly 450 farmers for this type of consultancy services and you can see this already i told it's a jharkhand the bus you can see inside the bus itself because jharkhand remote tribal part of the country when tribal villages when they are visiting there won't be a training facility this bus itself <laughs> serves as a training facility it's a business model he takes the bus and he conducts the training charges the farmers and provides the all the inputs and he goes for the field and provides the advisory services this is model for doing the agri business this is the training based consultancy and bus is the his training unit and another person you can see something related to seed varietal testing and other things seed production in karnataka you can see they provide farmers consultancy how to produce the seeds better seeds like that they they give the consultancy and uh, you can see this already i told is a uh, sangappa like that in karnataka he produces lot of manufactures the solar powered machineries and he manufactures more and he sells and uh, he gets the uh, income from this this is agri business model he is a engineering graduate he gets the business from this manufacturing the this type of missionaries and another one you can say i told agri journalism somebody produces how to how to take the technology to their field they will produce lot of cds and videos and they have their own youtube channels and uh, like universities or uh, icr institutes he produce large number of video cds to the farmers and he sells for that through that sristi there is a separate media unit he is a bsc agriculture graduate amrisa like that based on this one he earns his own money for uh, living like that it's agri business model by uh, agri agri consultancy is doing through developing the media agri journalism related agri consultancy is doing so agri business based on the agri journalism another one you can see it is <coughs> green agrotech like that you can see it's andhra pradesh and they will produce high yielding tissue culture banana varieties and also they provide the farmers service and also seedlings all things they used to provide for the support for that they will charge for them they will reach nearly 500 farmers that villages annually he earns 83 86 lakhs for a uh, income for him and you can see somebody working on landscaping and uh, taking the many times whenever there is a road they are expanding or uh, they generally they will cut the trees but one of the agri partners providing the service sifting the entire trees and for that he charges and but no he sees that that trees which are transplanted it is survived almost 95 to 90 95 percent of the trees survives for example wherever there is a road expansion or wherever new buildings are coming governments or roads expansion many places they cut the trees for that he is providing the service he transplants the trees no need cut and for that he is charging for it and also he makes landscaping like this no he is having green morning like that there is a limited and he is working for this is agri business model uh, he is a horticulture graduate he does this one across the country and many places he takes a government contract to replace the trees he is doing for this and another person you can see so gajendra bamani already told is annually he earns 2 crores and he reaches nearly 30000 farmers on uh, he generates employment for 10 managers those who are mostly veterinary and are 300 assistants 
and he provides the veterinary livestock services, veterinary dairy livestock services, mostly on indigenous related things, indigenous cows and indigenous cattle is providing, he is from Gujarat. And another person you can see something related to integrated farming system he is doing on, uh, <coughs> and his annual turnover is 25 lakhs and he employment gives for five people and uh, number of farmers co covered are 500. And you can see there is a Pune. The many of the agri partners they will make the business based on uh, they will produce their own their own uh, biocontrol agents, and uh, they will provide for the farmers, and they will give the consultancy to the farmers. So you can see Mr. Sangeeta is she is from Maharashtra. She is providing the consultancy and producing the biocontrol agents. And uh, you can see this is from fisheries related. She produces feeds and advisory for the fish cultivation for the Kerala fish farmers. She is from Kerala and she provides jobs for 20%. She covers almost 5,000 fisheries farmers while making this fishery advisory is his, her business. And you can see it is somewhere from Northeast India. It is uh, it is from Assam, Jorgat area. Assam, Jorgat is uh, Samiranjan Bardole. He is serving more than 10,000 farmers and he gives jobs for 40% annual turnover is 3 lakhs rupees. He promotes green uh, agriculture and uh, all green related and also schools everywhere will take organic farming related things he used to take for the schools and everywhere and another one is from impal you can see it's uh, fish cultivation and serving 10,000 farmers he provides 35 farmers near very near to impal he produces fingerlings and also advice it to the fishery farmers he's providing this business he's doing and somebody from mushroom and other things, green biotech like that, they are doing from import. Again, it's a woman, they are it's all national level awards, these are people, and they're doing green biotech like that they are doing. And uh, this all business, if you see across the country, there are a large number of candidates are trained. Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, and Karnataka, they train large number of people. And out of 72,000 people, if you see, majority of them are come from Maharashtra, then Uttar Pradesh. The two states alone, it trained nearly, you can see 34,000 people. Half of them, almost 40 to 50% of them trained from Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu, almost 50% of them, they trained. Many of the Maharashtra villages, Maharashtra, if you see, large number of agri clinics, agri business centers are available. They are doing good business in the, among the farmers, and they are providing consultancy also. If you see again, those who are trained candidates you have seen the, across the country, there are a uh, large number of established who are the successful. You can see almost 40 to 50% of them are successful and they established the ventures or agri clinics or agri business centers across the country. They are working for the farmers, you can see across the country. And uh, these all, whatever story, whatever these stories all I'm telling, all it is available on uh, online somebody somebody interested to go through you can go through agriclinics.net you can see there are 100 startups and 200 enterprising farmer another 50 50 success stories you can see this large number of case studies are available these case studies also says what type of advisory what type of ag agri business they are doing how many persons they are giving the employment opportunity and how many farmers are they reaching and what type of service or product they are making, what type of agribusiness or any information available. Anybody interested in the agribusiness, you can download these publications, you can go through it. It's available at uh, agriclinics.net website or it's also available at a uh, manage website. And uh, this free of cost you can download and you can go through there are a large number of there are 350 different stories are available and those who are doing better business and agribusiness with the farmers. And this uh, website also available. You can go for more videos and uh, there are information about the scheme all available. Somebody, this scheme, agri graduates and uh, diploma holders, science graduates, all are eligible to undergo this course. This course is, uh, this training course is 45 days training course conducted across the country and if somebody interested to apply for this course, this training, you can see ACABC MIS login like that. ACABC MIS login is like that. Just you need to log in to click this one and you need to apply for it. You can apply for it. This is a fully free of cost training and you can apply. Across the country, there are a large number of nodal training institutes and you can choose your own 
training center in your own state or nearby wherever you want you can select and you can have the training and after training you can prepare the dpr you can try for the bank loan other things and this website you can see all the related information available this is all about agri business and agri clinics how we are doing like that last uh, almost uh, 18 years we are doing since 2002 we are doing this training and we developing large number of agri business or uh, agri pruners across the country and uh, apart from that we also in at manage we also have manage center for innovation and agri pruners there is a center started 3 years back it is for example agri clinics agri business center scheme it is only for the agri graduates and diploma holders and science graduates but uh, this one this manage center for innovation and agri pruners to promote the startups in the big way and anybody can come there is no there is no bar on education or those is no bar on anything anybody can come with ideas or innovation they can be incubated for promoting their own innovations we offer we focus on following areas farm mechanization agri input ict in agriculture animal husbandry farm service center supply chain management fisheries nutrition and health post harvest technology warehouse management dairy that means agriculture all allied areas are rural development related everything we used to concentrate anybody can come something related to agriculture development or agricultural rural development or livelihoods promotion all related things they can come for incubation like that this all all this all not <clears throat> limited apart from this any area they are interested they can come anybody with the ideas or they want to do any agri business or innovation or startups they can come especially these farm service centers we will be encouraging more rural area somebody want to start some agri business or farm service centers to support the farmers they are always welcome for them we provide the infrastructure they can come and sit with us in our incubation center they can work and uh, we provide advisory services we provide somebody has the technology we provide the patenting or copyright uh, we facilitate all those things and uh, we provide the technical mentoring on particular subject or they can have the technical mentoring we provide trainings on the particular area capacity building how to expand their business how to scale up like that we connect with the funding with the government schemes or angel investors and others banks like that we connect for the funding and we used to provide business mentoring particular business owner is there how to scale up how to expand their business for that we provide the business mentoring and uh, in all areas we'll give the support services moreover we'll provide the network somebody want to connect with uh, some agriculture or other institutes which are useful for them develop their own research or idea or innovation we try to provide the network facility networking with other agri pruners or other agri business people or uh, institutions which are helpful for particular idea or startup we provide the networking support for the agri pruners and startups and uh, compared to many many of the higher learning institutions or iims iits or many of the institutions having incubation centers or innovation center but manage innovation center it distinguished from other centers it is uh, we promote more of farmer service centers and uh, we welcome all interested in agri pruners and we try to support in uh, respect of business stages and uh, simply they can come us uh, they can join with members and we can uh, try to facilitate and we try to we are hand holding a large number of ac abc entrepreneurs across the country there are 72000 people already we are doing that's why this all our uh, distinguishing uh, different uh, it's a uh, salient features of our center for innovation and agri pruners and we offer specific training programs and uh, we participate in the events to promote these uh, agri business agri startup we conduct the census sensitization session awareness sessions in the colleges universities we provide the consultancy for how to develop the business and uh, we do research on agri business and agri startups so large number of visitors and institutions we used to allow for understanding on the startups and uh, we also participate in the exhibitions to promote idea of agri business and agri startups and we have three different five ongoing programs one is agri tech startup accelerator already startups are there to accelerate their own ideas and takes to the next level we run the agri tech 
startup accelerator program and members program anybody want to start the agri business or startup they can enroll with us for them we run the membership program and chris if you search for agri innovations like that we run anybody having the innovation the rural areas and to identify those rural talents and rural innovations those who are potentially they become agri business or startups those type of things we do across the country we will go for searching new ideas available in the different parts of the country and we provide the incubation program anybody can join with us for support and incubation membership program we used to provide and there is impulse program there is a mentoring program because we have the network of large number of agri partners across the country through them we will provide the mentorship somebody want to start in the some particular area for example starting the agro tourism then we provide the mentorship through our own agri partners already in the maharashtra they are it's very very well doing on agro tourism like we try to make the those who are people are coming with some idea they want to start some own some innovation or some startup or some agri business we find out our own agri partners or agri those who are doing business very well we connect with them for the mentorship we run the impulse that that we call mentoring the mentees mentorship program we call impulse <coughs> this anybody can mentor anybody can become member so far there are we are having 650 members are enrolled for getting the idea of agri business and startups and anybody can enroll and uh, just uh, they can uh, just can give email and they can enroll with us and this membership program and we try to provide technologies in animal husbandry technology in fisheries and also natural resource management and agriculture engineering we combine large number of ideas available we provide support for them so that they can get some idea on agri business and startups and uh, we run the agri tech startup accelerator program to promote the already startups are working to foster their ideas or to accelerate their startup working or scale up their startups we will conduct this agri tech startup accelerator and we are very told we run the across the country such the agri innovations are available which are potential we try to incubate with us and we develop them this crisi vikas such for agri innovations we do this program earlier we did 2018 now we identified some 150 innovations and uh, we try to promote them and uh, uh, like this across the country we will go we will identify we will uh, find out what are the innovations how it is coming like that those innovations we take to taking for next level these were agri innovations we do it and uh, earlier we conducted eight states and we seen some 150 innovations we took with us and another one is symbols that is we are launching the website separately to connect the mentors and mentees based on the area of expertise and area of, of willingness to become part of our agri business there is a separate impulse there is a website for agri business mentoring program we can they can people can directly enter they can find their mentors and they can join with them for internship and they can work with them so that they can understand their idea and how to run the business or how to run the startup and there are we are trying for 2000 aspiring entrepreneurs we want to have we are having almost enrolling 1000 experienced mentors already our 350 people we enrolled in our website and we are putting and uh, for next level and there is a website it's there it's coming up and uh, there is a mentor can register and mentee also they can come up and you can match and you can work with the mentors to mentor mentor your ideas or agri startups and uh, apart from these things we also run rashtriya krishi vikas yojana rkvi rapta remunerative approaches for agriculture and allied sector to rejuvenation like that as rkvi rapta program to support to mentor to facilitate large number of startups we are the one of the among across the country there are five knowledge partners indian council of agriculture research ira indian agriculture research institute new delhi and our national institute of uh, agriculture extension management hyderabad and the national institute of agricultural marketing rajasthan and the university of agriculture sciences darwad karnataka assam agriculture university assam Uh, these are all the knowledge partners. Under these knowledge partners, there are twenty-four different RKVI Raptar Agri Business Incubators are available across the country, and uh, these are twenty-nine centers, twenty-four Agri Business centers. Handhold or partner, they are supported by these five knowledge partners, and you can see almost every state there is, except a few northeast states and another union territories. Almost every state has at least one RKVI Raptar Agri Business Incubation Center. 
there is except in this northeast india only three rabs are available otherwise across the country all the states they are having one rkv raptor agri business incubation center and every year two times or four times two times they are advertising enroll the innovators or those who are having idea or those who are having startups they are enrolling this whole program is linked with financial support for example like this across the country they will uh, advertise and uh, uh, they will uh, take the candidates those who are with ideas there are two programs one is agri orient agri partnership orientation program here those who are having only ideas they can apply for it once they are once they applied the idea is good it is selected and they will be given two months intensive training and their 60 hours classroom training will be there every month they will get the stipend of 10000 rupees and they are eligible for getting 5 lakhs grants it is grants and it is to encourage the aspiring entrepreneurs or startups it is here only you need to have the idea great idea it is not already field working working startups no need here only you need to have a better idea for that idea you can apply if idea is selected and uh, after getting the training stephen you will get the five lakhs grants to ground your ideas you can start your idea and once your idea is working and uh, you are having already economically viable startup then you can apply for startup agri business incubation program this program Uh, eight week residential training is there and uh, individual mentoring by experts are available and grant in aid up to 25 lakhs they will provide government of india provides 25 lakhs it's a two years incubation support also they will provide this is a startup agri business incubation program and uh, this both programs agri partnership orientation program startup agri business those who are having only idea they can go for the agri partnership orientation program they can get the stipend once selected they will get the stipend 10000 rupees once after 60 hours of training their idea is good and selected they can get for the 5 lakhs rupees grants and here if already startup is working and they can go for the 25 lakhs category it's a startup agri business incubation program many of the trainings and mentoring sit like this many of the industrial experts they are coming and there is a one on one training it happens and it is and also networking with many industry experts and those who are already start up like that happens and uh, after this training you can see uh, so one on one they will try to develop their own ideas or startups and uh, we have large number of startups almost in our kv raptar alone we have something like uh, 60 startups we are promoting and you can see somebody working on the artificial intelligence pestos like that and uh, any pestent is if you click and mobile application it says what is the pestent how to manage like that and this one startup they came long back and testos like that they are iit graduates they came and later on you can already told the green mowing also the agri business they started then later on they incubated as a startup to promote and uh, uh, natural conservation and uh, to transplant the trees they also becomes they registered themselves as a startup green mowing like that across the country the startup is working to save the trees and uh, they are getting lot of contracts wherever there is a road widening new buildings are coming they see that that uh, trees are again survived they will see that uh, they will treat and they will transplant the trees and uh, another one is agri talk like that there is like social media application to connect the all agricultural communities whether students teachers professors farmers like facebook like application for the agriculture they try that is something from up agri talk like that and uh, somebody from it is from tamil nadu koyamuthur india supply chain management input management and also advisory and certification of the farm produce and all they will provide through this one and uh, and they also provide personalized consultation to the farmers and they will provide the traceability where crop is where produce is coming and where it is going like that and there farm produce traceability also they will provide through ict based information communication technology based support this is another startup another startup ec krishi like that it is working with the farmers in karnataka farmers be farmer producer organization already they are groups this ec krishi works with the farmers groups to agree they work with the aggregators they become aggregators of aggregator already aggregated by farmer based 
farmers are aggregated by farmer based organization this ac currency again aggregates the farmer based organizations and so that they will provide the better input with the optimum price because large number of farmers are connected they will produce, buy in the bulk and they will provide the farmer based very optimum price and also they will they know when the produce is coming they will collect the market they connect the marketing for the better price and the entire database of farmers and farmer based organizations there will be database available now online so that they can predict where and when and how much produce they needed or how much farm produce are coming for the market like that they know all the things and uh, another organic farming related and somebody it is new like that in pune there are millet based produce they are doing and uh, they do large number of biscuits other things on millet based products they are millet mama like that they are doing for healthy food tech related startup they are doing and another one is it is something like uh, iot based water irrigation management system like uh, water scheduling and uh, irrigation scheduling and water budgeting is possible based on the soil characteristics and type of crops there is the iot based device automatically it schedules the water and it controls the whole there is wherever there is uh, electricity fluctuation it controls the pump so that you know, it saves from the damage of the motor and uh, it it has the sensor soil moisture and other things and so that you no know, correct amount of water will be irrigated it saves the water and uh, it pro it saves the motor pump from electricity fluctuations and also it saves the farmers time like this there is iot based startups is available with us another one interesting is agri rain in dry land areas to provide the water to the crops three critical three critical irrigation there is agri rain like that they will provide the rain to the crops in the dry land areas mm -hmm. this agri rain it is a hyderabad based startup this water gun and uh, you can see here water gun and they source the water from common place they can take this water to 1 km away from dry land area they provide the critical irrigation to the dry land crops and for this they will charge 450 rupees they are working in the other parts of the country also globally also different parts it is kenya ghana working there are india in the maharashtra and uh, andhra pradesh and uh, telangana they are working with the dry land farmers and once there are 40 farmers are there they will leave this whole instrument in the village itself there is a water entrepreneur like that village level person can manage and he can earn money from there uh, giving the commission to the this agri rain like that there is a water entrepreneurs they are developing and uh, they are uh, connecting the they are trying to give critical irrigation to the dry land farmers through this this is another interesting agri rain like that they source the water from common areas and try to provide the irrigation to the dry land crops and another one is mushroom related value addition they are doing doctor mushroom like that this is another startup from the from hyderabad you can see mushroom chickies and energy bars all you can see the mushroom based value added products they are making and these products uh, connect from they will get from their own production also from farmers and this is another startup this startup already told from karnataka solar based all solar spray or other thing he also now enrolled us uh, earlier doing he was the sca bis trainee now he become the agri startup he is uh, started new company and he is uh, producing in the mass scale he want to produce he become the startup he can he is producing hydroponics unit the things and apart from these things and we also provide something like uh, aqua clinics ac adp to promote uh, aqua entrepreneurship for entrepreneurship in the facility sector uh, we provide aqua clinics those who are studying uh, zoology or those who are in the fisheries or uh, diploma holders or fishery degree holders we are providing uh, training 20, one month training in aqua clinics and aqua entrepreneurship development ac adp like that this training we provide across the country large number of icr institutes and fisheries universities and colleges we conduct this training in the funding support from the national fisheries development board nfdp support from this one and manage implements through large number of nodal training institutes those who are specialized in the fisheries like fisheries universities colleges or icr institutes 
and uh, we train so far a large number of people 2288 in uh, 2018 19 and 1920 we trained uh, we trained almost uh, 450 out of 900 only we trained 400 450 people and uh, after training they are supported by nfdp for establishing aqua one centers they can start aqua consultancy center for the farmers once they get the training they are eligible to get the funding support from the national fisheries development board board to start the aqua one clinics aqua one centers we run training through these fisheries institutes universities departments and uh, icr institutes including college of fisheries tripura central agriculture university across the country we are training this this all nodal training institute through this training institutions we are training the fisheries graduates for developing fisheries entrepreneurship and also to start the aqua one centers for the farmers consultancy as a business model we are doing it and overall i told this what through rkv rapta this knowledge partner we support the four institutions we are the knowledge partner for acharya ng anga agriculture university kerala agriculture university and tamil nadu agriculture university and in need of military similarly others those who are uh, i told something like another five knowledge partners like ira indian agriculture research institute of icar and um, manage and manage we are doing that four institutes and niam and es darbar and ai assam we will we are uh, hand holding this 24 institutes college of horticulture and forestry pasigat also one of the institute under this uh, 24 uh, centers you can see last one 24th you can see this a college of horticulture and forestry arunachal pradesh is also one of the center among this rk viraptar agri business centers and the these five institutes we are hand holding we are supporting and we are partnering with this 24 center and along with this 24 and these five centers total 29 centers across the country we run these two different programs already told agri business agri orient agri agri partnership orientation and startup agri business program we run across the country we promote this type of large number of startups already explained all those things we run and apart from these startups we also run fisheries related to promote fisheries related to entrepreneurship we run the fisheries development ac adp program also we used to run across the country and uh, every year a large number of these type of advertisements are coming across the country those who are interested to start up or agri business they can apply for these type of things even now also there are many institutes like uh, jawaharlal nehru agriculture university jabalpur or many anand agriculture university all there is advertisements are on some of you can interested and you can put our manage ca manage center for innovation and agri partnership you can go for this website and you can get the uh, links for the advertisements and like this there are large number of startup we are promoting and uh, if anybody interested to get the idea just you can go for caa.manage.gov in center for innovation and agri partnership here we have the facebook page manage caa like that this facebook page if you are going wherever there is advertisements are coming for uh, startup promotion or agri business promotion we are putting it you can link and you can uh, get benefited by these advertisements and we also come out with a publication on agri startups agri startups the ray of hope in indian agriculture it gives about all not only rk virapta or acabc for example dst department of science and technology and biotechnology and uh, like that there are other large number of in- uh, centers there are uh, large number of institutions they are providing support to the startups even startup india portal if you are going there are large number of organizations they are helping the startups if you see in india so india is one of the fastest growing country in the agri startups every eighth startups comes from india and india's uh, startup ecosystem is globally it's the third biggest one it is uh, growing in the big way and large number of people including nidhi ayog model incubation centers and dst biotechnology bayrak centers and icrs technology business incubation centers like that large number of uh, incubation centers they are supporting agri business and startups across the country somebody interested you can go for this publications also available online manage website if you are going you can download this publication it say it talks about different type of startups in india and also who are the agencies are supporting this type of startups and what are the funding opportunities available all all things are listed in this publication you can also go through and uh, with this thank you very much and if you have any questions i will take it up
Yeah, Dr. Raja, any questions? I will take it up if. Uh... Uh, yes, sir. Actually, a uh, few people they have asked the question in the chat box, mm. and now sir, time for the participant to ask the question, and uh, you please write in the chat box, sir. One person has asked, uh, Siam. He asked about uh, how many students. How many students and farmers? Sorry, as many students and farmers uh, becoming entrepreneur and extension service, the government appointed extension workers are being very poor. Any any lacking situation? Raja, I didn't get your question. Can you repeat? Uh, he has typed in the chat box. Huh. As many students and farmers becoming entrepreneur. And extension service, the government appointed extension workers are being poor, and any lacking situation. Government appointed extension personnel poor. They are telling. Yes. What it is, is the lacuna? Like the, hmm. What is lacuna. the lacuna? Uh, it is not like that. Country like India, if you see, there are uh, fourteen crore farm families. They are telling. Uh, even uh, earlier study says that. The the formal extension system generally reaches only 10 to 11 percentage of the farmers. That means 90 percent of the farmers not reached by the public extension system or IC or KVKs or departments because the farmers are large numbers are there. These type of startups are private people and uh, even innovative farmers are coming. It's a good sign actually because no public extension alone cannot meet the requirement or needs of the all the farmers in the country. It is not the lacuna, there is a limitation of manpower across the country. If you see, there is a public sector extension, uh, there is not much extension personnel. Even if they are there, they will do large number of administrative work, actually. For example, once COVID pandemic is coming, the, all the public sector extension people are, they are in the forefront. They are doing different type of activities, how to harvest or how to take the farmers produce to the consumers like that. They are working on it. And for example, whenever there is a natural calamity comes, these extension personnel, they will go for that. Not real extension, they may not do all the time. That's why the pressure on public extension system is more, but the human resource is very less. Uh, during that process, if you are having more and more startups are coming and uh, private consultancies are coming, it's a good sign. Those who are able to pay are those who are big and big farmers. They can able to pay and they can go for private consultancy. That's a good, otherwise also, Generally, there is a, always a people criticize many of the time public extension supporting only big landlords or big farmers. There is an issue. If big farmers are getting service from these type of startups or agri consultancies, that's a good. Then that public sector extension personnel may get much more, some more time to reach the small and marginal farmers. No, it is not the labor, it's a good thing. You know, public sector alone may not help or may not reach the all the farming community. That's why it is good that uh, private extension coexistence and it is supplement, complement the public extension system. Thank you. Any other questions? Sir, is there uh, any weekly magazine available through yourself or by ICR? No, it's a weekly magazine. Many of the universities are coming. State agriculture universities, they are producing the agriculture. For example, Tamil Nadu, there is a Tamil Nadu, there is a separate agriculture magazine like that. Uh, locally, they are producing. Manage, we are not producing any agriculture magazine, but ICR is producing uh, intensive farming like that. There is a magazine, Hindi and English, it is coming, if I'm right. And uh, again, the state governments and the state in agriculture universities, they are producing the magazines for the farming community. It is their, their own states. Even KVK is coming with large number of leaflets, folders, and communication materials, they are coming. Nowadays, if you see many of the KVK started their own YouTube channels and Facebook channels, they are trying to give the information to a large number of the audience, yeah. Sir, another question is, sir, what we do for dairy farming? Any uh, innovative what ideas of farming they were asking? What we do? What we do for dairy farming? Dairy farming. Yeah, dairy farming, many of the places they are doing good. For example, innovative way. For example, if you see in the Hyderabad, uh, there is a Sith farm like that. There is a farm. They, they, those people, the owners came from the US. They are they are the tech, uh, computer tech engineers from US. Those who are born and brought up in 
years and they came back came back to motherland and they started agro tourism on uh, dairy buffalo said they kept they are charging for seeing buffaloes you see how many people will think in bihar or tamil nadu everywhere buffaloes are there but we won't think somebody seeing the buffaloes they will pay money like that but somewhere in hyderabad students or children are coming from the coming and they are paying for it and they are producing milk and they are selling in the name of pure organic milk like that and they are started agro tourism units like that no? people are doing innovative ideas across the country if you see maharashtra large number of innovation happening in the agriculture many of agri- agro tourism units and other things are happening it depending upon the place uh, people need to find out innovation depending upon the local requirement maybe we may not able to suggest what is the innovation like that people need to come out with innovations okay any other thing raja so then what is the fees of uh, agro clinics course there is no fees it is a uh, fully residential and free of cost because this time uh, due to um, covid pandemic we are unable to start but we are trying for the online course acebc otherwise across the country 140 nodal training institutes run for the free of cost fully money given by the department of agriculture and cooperation farmers welfare ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare and it is uh, implemented through manage fully free of cost for the students all the expenditure borne by the ministry of agriculture farmers welfare through manage manage we pay the money to directly to the uh, nodal training institutes candidates no need to pay any money except 500 rupees registration fee sir how can we get loan for agri business yeah getting loan is a little tough task because uh, 18 years we see only 4% of the people are got the loan because many times the students those come from uh, bsc agriculture or diploma holders they won't convince the bank managers they look very young they are casual because you no know, we need to convince really we can do some agri business or consultancy like that and also our dpr should be good for example nabard producers uh, gives lot of dpr models there are 50 different type of dpr models are available and we need to prepare our dpr as well our project will be viable in the particular area wherever we are going to implement it viable many of the agriculture graduates have come with we want to start dairy like that starting dairy and without any innovations what is the need for the bank loan like that bank managers they may not give many times uh, always if uh, economically viable project if they are coming better dpr and the candidates uh, able to convince the bankers you will get the bank loan after completing this training yeah sir uh, any agri clinic training schedule for near varanasi mirzapur uh, yeah it is there it is varanasi only is there for example if you are going uh, if uh, if you see here uh, that website i told acabc website if you are going you can get uh, all things and uh, it is available everything already i told agriclinics.net there if you go nodal training institutes you can get uh, Uh, entire information you can get any other question raja raja any other question sir yes manage provide any free online training or any agri business related course actually so, so far agri business related training we are not provided but we are going to start webinars maybe uh, maybe first webinar on uh, agri startups we are going to start from maybe july 17th onwards we are going to start otherwise we used to provide residential training agri agri business and uh, agri startups training we used to provide five days weekly trainings regularly that's all free of cost only but this year due to covid pandemic we are trying for the online training or webinars other things we are trying it is uh, going to start at later part of the july another question is uh, how much is subsidy we we are uh, we are get sir so how, man, how much not, uh, how much is subsidy yeah. we are get sir so i think it's not a uh, um, no. focused question okay this subsidy for acabc program for women and sc st those who are from north east there is a 44 percentage of subsidy that means they are getting 20 lakhs loan they no need to repay 8.8 lakhs and other parts of the country others those who are general and others it is 36 percentage subsidy oh thank you sir very informative i think agri clinic training program is virtual or it's a classroom training 
actually it is fully 45 days residential training program because it is involves lot of skill development is it not that's why it is fully 45 days residential training program uh, but only this year we are trying for the online training due to we are unable to start since april onwards we are not able to start the training program and that's why we are trying to provide online training already the proposal with the ministry they are uh, processing they are trying to consider for online training for this year if it is considered we may start within the maybe another fortnight 15 days after we may start actually and sir another uh, question is at what rate of interest uh, we can get a loan for agri business startup agri agri business startups whatever i told it is not the loan actually it varies from for example if you are going angel investors they may take some equity like that it's a different all all it is not not based on the interest alone it somewhere it goes our acab is up to 9 percent is goes and private somewhere 18 it goes private there are financial institutions they will go for up to 18 also our acab is gives for 9 percent days or something like that for uh, whatever i told for rkv rapta that is a grant so you no need to pay it is not the loan 25 lakhs or 5 lakhs for idea that is not the loan that is uh, grants you no need to repay only they will put milestones you need to work on uh, your startup that's the grants rkv across the country they are running what is so the one, eligibility hmm. so, one, one more uh, question that uh, one uh, student from bihar he is asking he is studying agri business uh, agri uh, clinic agri business in up uh, he is afraid of uh, uh, you know like he is written uh, in any problem in getting in bank loan to start up this agri business clinic and centers there won't be any problem if he is getting fine he need to only repay Otherwise, there is no problem. Who oh, sub? So, okay, okay. Yeah, that was a continuous question. Uh, I will agree to your training. Uh, sir, sir, hmm. what are the new agriculture business ideas during this pandemic situation, which is really work? Any example? See, for example, no, it's a basic thing. For example, doing supply chain management, taking the farmer produce to consumer, it is working. like that like any other business it is working it's a it is a normal business taking the farmers produce to consumers that was many people are in so much during this covid times if uh, many of the business like uh, it is a necessary essential commodities it will work you need to see your area which is the essential one for the farmers many people are uh, started making the masks and the sanitizers and they are gaining more and agriculture always everybody they need to eat and then the agriculture produce selling and it always it has the value actually pandemic time also people took the farmers produce directly to the consumers and they connected they got the better margin and they are earning better like that whole supply chain management was working well they even producing uh, getting the inputs to giving farmers like that they are uh, working well really working well yeah uh, another question is sir uh, how to start as zero level entrepreneurship yeah just you need to start then it is zero to you can move forward just today you attended this training you asked the question now you are not in the zero already you started it's all the best it's a great thing just the beginning is the difficult once you started no life will be moving life always exciting actually only starting trouble will be there you might be seeing across the country always no people have a lot of starting trouble how to convey the something or how to start once you started you will be rocking only you are you make the difference you are Uh, today you asked this question itself it makes you want to start already you started no all the best yeah. another question is what is the procedure for availing startup capital from government already you have explained sir in the it is a grants actually only you need to apply and you need to be selected if a startup should be it is a really good one the idea should be selected because across the country there are 29 centers are running even uh, to be honest we are not getting the great ideas you need to come with the ideas which are use really useful for the farmers for that simply you need to discuss with the farmers you understand the common problem it's a common sense solutions we can come for that then it was start up really maybe going to be viable yeah sir one question ashok from telangana uh, he's uh, written the question i want to start uh, poultry layers Uh, is there any subsidy available for poultry farmers no this one poultry uh, poultry you need to check with uh, this one but i was talking about only acab these things other uh, subsidies i need to check i am not aware 
performers what are things are available we need to check i don't think so any subsidy available for the poultry i don't think so in the another question is uh, how how can an uh, agri agri graduate get into extension startup or how he she can join extension department just after bsc in agriculture yeah instead of joining department starting startup may be interesting you can start and many people are making good those who are doing business you can study the success stories if uh, really you have the business interest and you can start they are they are doing good and they are serving large number of farmers and also at the same time they are in any him handsomely and also they are providing job to many others if you have the that uh, enterprising mind you want to start you can start it and as usual government jobs you see wherever it is coming and many places they are putting examinations or they are taking based on the examination other thing wherever there is openings government this one you are aware actually yeah as agri business management student would i like to know how can we join this internship program which one i think this i think in this uh, he was asking about i uh, would like to know how can we join this internship program okay internship program you might be referring the idea stage agri partnership orientation program for that there is advertisements across the country is coming that's why i told you can refer main age caa facebook page wherever there is advertisements we are uploading there you need to write you put your ideas once your idea selected they will call for the two months internship they will provide the internship stipend and once your idea they will evaluate and two months they will give training to save your ideas once your idea is getting better and again they evaluate it is fine then they will go for up to maximum 5 lakhs grants for starting your idea to the in the ground yeah sir another two questions are there how to get the loan i think it is already answered and uh, another one is uh, sir can you please suggest a suitable agri business model for north east states of india particularly meghalaya yeah north east is very interesting actually you know it's everything there you can make the business you can take for example whether you talk about turmeric or any produce fully organic and uh, it has the value in the other not only other in our own country it's across the world it has a lot of potential suppose you are processing putting some brand mega turmeric or something like that you can globally you can export and many times uh, maybe we may encounter only we tell there may be transport problem still meghalaya is well connected with um, uh, nearby uh, guwahati it is possible anything you produce in the meghalaya it is maybe hard selling in the other part of the country for example hyderabad my own organization people some of the faculty they will wait for the uh, turmeric powder from meghalaya i don't know after coming only i know when i am in the meghalaya i was not bothered i was purchasing something but once i came hyderabad then people are telling we used to purchase somebody sends from meghalaya like that just so you know nowadays people are very very conscious and another one is this food tech startups are emerging in the big way people are very health conscious and they are trying for very organic and safe local foods then northeast has a great potential whatever we produce after our eating northeast whatever we are able not able to sell those things if you produce and you add the value and you are exporting it may be the great potential for the startups whether ginger turmeric or you take it any range of products whether all the products it has the great value actually it has a great potential in the other part of the country and also globally it has purely organic people are looking for that's why this food tech startups are the great area in coming years it is a growing in the big way food tech startups may be very interesting thing to do in the northeast india other than that also large number of opportunities are available not depending upon state there is a lot of opportunities we need to see state wise or district wise wherever there is opportunities we can do that yeah sir uh, one student is saying how can i use a greek clinic for fish culture in chatisgarh is there any institute for it in chatisgarh yeah chatisgarh also there is a raipur there is a training institute is there we are training and you can get the training for that acabc training they will give for all whether you want to start a veterinary or dairy or fisheries or agriculture anything you can have the acabc training then you can try for fisheries otherwise if you are fisheries graduate or you are having degree in the zoology botany then you can go for the acadp aqua clinic aqua development aqua partnership development program this program we run across the country some 24 nodal training institutions mostly from icr fisheries institutes or 
facilities, universities and colleges, including Assam and other parts, Raipur or Satisgarh also we are running. Uh, there you can attend a four week training program. Then you can apply for the AOC, Aqua One Centers subsidy from the NDB, National uh, Facilities Development Board. And you can start the facilities related consultancy. Yeah. Uh, sir, I want to start a silk reeling unit. Whether is it viable or not? No, that one, no. Entrepreneur, you need to look for the viability. Actually, I'm not ex expert in everything, actually. Uh, you need to look so, for where and how like that, mostly from, uh, you need to look for viability, other things. You need to assess the market potential. You need to do a market survey and you need to assess, yeah. Is there any online training program for 45 days? Yeah, this year we are proposed actually because of COVID-19 pandemic, we proposed online training. Most likely maybe after two weeks, we'll be announcing. If it is online, we'll be announcing. And if whether it's online or not, anybody, if you are eligible, you can uh, upload your biodata or your application in the uh, AC Agriclinics, agriclinics.net agriclinics website, you can go. If you see right-hand side corner, AC, ABC, MIS portal like that will be the right sense, right-hand side corner top. ACABC MIS portal. There you need to enter your own, uh, you can register and you can select the nodal training institute. You keep ready for it. Once we announce online or offline, you can uh, go for it. We are trying for this year offline. Uh, online we are trying. Sir, the another question is, sir, you said that within 15 days, uh, your people will start to start the agribusiness training. So where can I get the notification or announcement? All you get the agriclinics.net. Only you need to look for agriclinics.net website. Already I given that link on of the PowerPoint. Agriclinics.net. Otherwise, manage website. Just manage.gov.in. You can get. Yeah. There is a separate dedicated um, call center also. We have mobile number and landline also. Because of pandemic, landline is not working. You can try for the uh, dedicated. There is a mobile phone for the inquiries. You can call that mobile phone, you will get after 15 days, you can call or you can see our Facebook pages or you can see our website, agriculture started or manage website. It will be uploaded everywhere. Yeah. Sir, another question is uh, to discuss about my startup idea, should I need to inquire, manage or any incubation center in my state? Uh, anywhere. To discuss across about the, my startup. Yeah, across the country, anywhere you can discuss. There is no bar in it. Anybody can. Anywhere you can, you can go your own state or you can come to Hyderabad, you can discuss with Hyderabad or you can discuss New Delhi. There is no bar. Anybody can do anywhere across the country. Even our startups come from across the country. Yeah. Yeah. There was another question. I think I can answer it. Mass production of uh, biofungicides like trichoderma, etc. to manage, to provide the fund. Yeah. Actually, this also the uh, Raftar, under Raftar scheme, they are providing. You know, sir. Mm, yeah. There was a question. Will I get the fund for mass production of biofungicides? I think if they come up with a good idea, the Raftar, uh, through Raftar, they can get it. So there is no issue, I think. Uh, uh, another question is, how can you uh, connect a bank for loan after completed AC and ABC training? What process there for getting loan for startup? Yeah, this ACABC training, once you complete the, before completing 45 days of training, last week only you need to prepare the DPR and you need to submit through your nodal training institute. Where you are undergoing training through that institute, you need to submit the, your DPR, detailed project report. That's why that uh, nodal training institute help and hand over for this process. Even after one year of your completion of training, that nodal training institute support for this activity. Sir, They're supposed another... to support. Somebody may not do also. You can follow up with manage and that nodal training institution. You can try for support. Yeah. So another question is for mushroom cultivation after completing BSc agriculture. Can you give me better ideas? I think I can say that uh, I can give that idea. Like if you would like to start this mushroom cultivation, so come up with a good idea because mm -hmm. mushroom product it has a lot of. Uh, uh, this mushroom has a vitamin D. So in uh, all you know. Uh, all over the India, uh, vitamin D deficiency, it's very common. So you can uh, make the purify it and you can say that uh, this product is uh, have this vitamin D enrichment. So even with the, uh, with the great ideas, you can come up with, uh, with the processing and packing and storage. So you can have a good idea for that. Another question is, uh, 
can you give any basic training for bsc studying student who are not yet graduated through online courses so that we can have the future planning yeah this training is not available and uh, maybe universities have just now started giving through this uh, higher education project that they are giving already and uh, we don't have for ug students any training so far in future we may start if the requirement is more really we may start yeah i think some of the questions are very repeated where we will get the notification for our agri clinic training program already you have said agri clinics dot net and i am from andhra pradesh but i want to start the mushroom production and uh, dragon fruit cultivation what we have to do i am just to bsc hmm. completed yeah these things you know you can nearby kbks also you can approach normally in nearby district level every district has the kbks you can approach they will help you actually yeah uh, sir what is agri uh, what is agri business uh, will be good option in hill area of bengal uh, where t is leading t is leading the area agri business for t crops no they need to do what are other business are available or not t normally big factories other things they are processing uh, i doubt small scale t for green leaf other things possible or i doubt and we need to see what other things are requirement are there those hill areas accordingly he may start some agri business i am not sure really yeah. uh, i am from andhra pradesh uh, i want to know about your free training programs in andhra pradesh yeah we we provide the training normally for the uh, graduate this one agriculture uh, professionals from uh, agricultural developmental departments and uh, we normally won't conduct the training for students but because of recent days the startups we are conducting some training for the students actually i think that is another question is very technical how to start a bulk milk uh, chilling center Oh, they may be yeah, i think this is the technical posting the dairy people yeah, yeah. i'm agri i'm an agricultural engineering and i am going to start a micro irrigation business how can i get how can i get the finance for it no where you are implementing where the, the, those area already there is a micro irrigation there is a government subsidy is there and they are providing you need to check from uh, your own state and our uh, your district they will be better person to explain all these things so another question is uh, uh, there are any paid internship internship program provided by manage for agri business management student so far we are not providing paid internship but we are providing internship for uh, msc and phd graduates those who are in agriculture and allied sector including agri business management but we we didn't thought any agri internship for the paid internship we never thought for others actually yeah. so many of the questions is relevant what is the best agri business for uh, uh, up bihar lucknow and uh, himachal pradesh they were all asking what is the best uh, okay. uh, agri business startup that's the problem innovation or idea you need to look and you need to come out idea another question is uh, after completing manage pgdm online course what is the use like that somebody asked uh, opportunities this course is to update the knowledge of extension professionals because extension professional wants to join as extension officer they work for many years to update their knowledge on agriculture extension management for that we are offering that pg diploma in agriculture extension management it is not separate course for getting some job or something like that this is to update the knowledge of extension professionals for that that course we are offer offering okay i think sir we are uh, uh, about to finish is any questions uh, apart from this very important you can raise your hand uh, so uh, at 5 uh, o'clock will be closing another 5 minutes to go so yeah, please, somebody can somebody can uh, interact if, if you really interested and a very important question uh, please raise your hand so that uh, i'll unmute it so you can all interact with our resource person anybody want to interact can you raise a hand anybody want to interact yeah somebody is there 
Yeah, I think very important. Yeah, many people are uh, raising hand, but please. Can you somebody up. unmute? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll unmute, sir. Uh, there are few people are raising hand. Just I'll put. Uh, yeah, somebody is unmuted already. Unmuted, yeah, please okay? talk. Yeah, please. Yeah, Preeti Kumari. Are you there, Preeti Kumari? I think then. Do you have any question, Preeti Kumari? I think another person is uh, Juhi. I think there is no mic. And here, Kopal Yam. I'll unmute it. Yeah, Kopal Yam, you have some question? Already, Mr. Khan, somebody is unmuted. Uh, Dr. Raja, he is raising hand, you see. Okay, I, I think I'll give this. Uh, uh, un, uh, I will give this, allow the participant to unmute themselves, okay? So, one by one, please. You can unmute yourself and then please talk. Hello. Uh, talk. Hello. Yeah. Hello. One by one. Uh, Parthik? Yes, sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. I have one Speak. question. Mm -hmm. Sir, sir, what we can do in person in bee farming? Pardon? What we can do innovation in bee farming agriculture, sir? Hello. Hello. Yeah, Parthik. Sir, what we can do innovation in bee farming agriculture? Hello. Just a minute, sir. sir uh, it's not audible. Just a minute, sir. Yeah. I'll unmute it. No, the, yeah. 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 no, the innovation you need to find out working in the particular area. You need to find out. We may not be able to suggest innovation in every area. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, I got it, sir. Okay. Okay. Unmute Hello. yourself. Then, Hello. Manju. Yeah. Manuj, Manuj, Gekwad. Yeah. Ask your question. Manuj. Manuj. Prasan okay. Josi is uh, waiting for long. Prasan Josi, yeah. Prasan Josi, please tell me. Sir, is it audible? Yeah, it's you are very much. Yeah. Thank you, sir. First of all, I will congratulate you, sir, for nice information. I'm uh, highly thankful. Yes, sir. sir, my uh, question or rather submission is yeah, after conduction of successful training to become an entrepreneur or startup business, <coughs> we have a lot of difficulties. We have to approach Udyog Aadhaar. And different current bank account and all this. So my submission is why not single approach, uh, single window approach. Earlier means our state government and conservative have single approach at one platform or one win window. So new entrepreneur or startup can get all revealing information. He can submit his all documents and he can start his own enterprises. So that will be encouraging. Means most yeah. of the time we uh, people discourage. So we have to supply for electric uh, for electric concern. We have to rush there for different irrigation or any other NOC. So he has to run many things and a lot of difficulties. So it is uh, my humble submission rather than so you can address on that because uh, you are the pioneer institute and uh, you can make uh, contribution in the policy decision of the government of India. 
right normally startup uh, mostly they are coming in single window startup india like that our registration everything coming but others you rightly told many other things are we need to run uh, many places that's correct that is the issue for every including farmers and many of the people want to start some business or get some support from government yeah that is there that we need to address right yeah yes sir. so so that uh, means uh, institute like apex institute like you and you uh, means you are the person so right, you can yeah. uh, means meditate these things so it will be right. helpful and new uh, means uh, emerging interested people will come out uh, on a larger way or faster way one can say fine yeah we will put up wherever there is appropriate forums we will put up your views rightly yeah thank, thank you sir thank you thank you thank you jessi yeah. Any other? Hello. Yeah, can't. Yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah, please. Hello. Should I speak? Uh, yeah. Yes. Tell me, Anirudh. Okay. Hello. Good evening, sir. Thank you yeah, so much evening, for Anirudh. this. Thank you so much for this wonderful session. Actually, I'm in third year right now, and this was my first session with such a pioneer personality like you. And it was such information informative session. I'm going to tell everybody in my college about this. And moreover, uh, what I wanted to ask is, since I'm in third year and I uh, don't plan to take up a job, instead, as you said, we should become job givers instead of job takers. So, um, if a graduate after four years, as I'm studying agriculture, and if we have some ideas, uh, where we should first approach to what training program we we should go eventually to start our entrepreneurship journey or a start or a startup journey, as we are, as you said that. banks won't give us loan because we look very casual the way we graduates are these days so what else we could do to enhance our profile and actually get into startups and agri business just after complete our graduation yeah right anirudh actually that's what now it is a time is changed actually large number of uh, this innovation or incubation centers they are running large number of the ideation boot camps or other training programs for the youngsters like you many they are uh, ug graduates they are coming and uh, they are undergoing those type of training and they are getting the internship from many of the startups and they are uh, shaping up their ideas and they are competing for the startup fund whether it's rkv or many others investors others meets no now it is a good time actually if you have some idea and you can go for Uh, startup ideas in camps, and you can go for the internship with the already established startups. There are great mentoring networks are available. Always you can go. Uh, only you need to have the will to go for the startup like that. Then there are opportunities are there. Always you can contact with us wherever. Uh, large number of every state now has a lot of incubation centers and uh, innovation centers. You can uh, uh, freely walk in and you can get the ideas and you can attend the trainings. And there are large number of mentors. there is a good time now yeah okay sir thank you so much thank you nirut yeah nice good yeah taking yeah unmute the video as well as your somebody mind. want to talk yeah somebody talking hello hello sir hello yeah yeah hello sir yes tell me sir, uh, sir uh, william sir Actually, my question is like, as Sir D I has said, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, William, continue. Sir, he is our M S C graduate from our college. Okay, okay, Mr. William, continue. Yeah, yeah. Startup are started by this. Management Institute graduates or engineering graduates, which is because of the skill, the skills they acquire. But uh, sir, my question is: Is it the only skills we lack as an agri graduate, or any other things we still lack to for for a startup? So I I'm just curious about your response to this argument. Liam, I'm not getting. Raja, can you put it again? Uh, yeah yeah he typed that question uh, uh yeah can you po- put it once again william that question i just uh, that is passed actually william yeah your voice is not audible uh, your voice is breaking uh, okay, can you can you can type you, in chat box william can you again, type in chat box can you can you copy okay. it and Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Okay. Raja, another 24 participants are raised against and you ask some no, other people. Uh, actually, yeah, only a few more questions are allowed because already uh, time is uh, now five. And uh, I'll just ask them a few more. Uh, let uh, still William is typing. Others can ask question if anyone. Sachin, you have any question? You have unmuted yourself. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening, sir. Yeah, yeah good evening. Uh, sir, my question is that uh, whatever the uh, schemes and whatever the training program, I also doing the uh, this ACBC training program completed. But my question is that I am my interest in export and import. Okay. Is any is any uh, whatever the uh, document support? What we say that is the uh, the guidelines. Whatever the doc uh, documents required is Banage is providing the some guidelines to start export import business no no we won't provide maybe apida maybe the appropriate organization to get the export import related apida manage okay. may not provide this type of uh, any support for export or import related maybe apida you need to check okay sir okay thank you sir. somebody pick emma was waiting longer emma you have any question uh, sir i'm having a question that Actually, sir, if we increase uh, cost of, I'm extremely sorry. Give me a moment, sir. If we uh, if we give a good market rate to the farmers, then it will be a, a tougher one for the poor people. So they cannot afford the cost uh, to meet their daily needs like food, everything, food grains regarding the food. So uh, the main motive of me is that we have to uh, guide the farmers about all the schemes that government provides and also we have to guide them towards the low cost of production to their uh, agricultural op operations. So like this, if we are having any uh, information centers to farmers, it will be easier for them to grow the crops with the support uh, from government also. They they can not uh, they may decrease their uh, in uh, cost of cultivation. Yeah, that's a correct. Uh, all the people are end of the day they are consumers. When you increase the money for production and uh, produce, it will affect the others also everybody, including farmers yeah. of the consumer. That's right. But we have across the country information centers. It is not, uh, for example. Agriculture Technology Information Centers are there, KBK is there, there are department is there, there is a Kisan call center is there across the country dedicated, farmers anytime to ask. But you see no. the problem is... Okay, okay, so continue. And continue. The problem is a large number of farmers and it may not reach the, because no, uh, because even many web portals are coming, mobile applications, but there is no organized efforts to reach all the farmers. If mm. there is a country like India, it always we find it tough to reach all the farmers. Even see, you know, many extension officers, they might be using the WhatsApp groups, including farmers. All, all are trying to reach and the same thing, all trying to give correct information so that cost of cultivation come down, farmers can produce better like that. But not only cost of cultivation, but hold that value chain, uh, farmer loses. Once a potato comes uh, one rupee, or he sells one kg of potato for uh, 10 rupees. But when you are taking the chips, it comes with uh, 500 rupees, the chips. The problem is value addition and uh, processing value addition. That's what recent days people are doing this value addition and processing things in the farmer's doorstep and also farmer based, farmer producer organizations trying to do. During that process, uh, they can make it a better price to the farmers also and consumer also, they can give better price. That's why farmer to directly reaching the consumer models are emerging. That's, uh, hmm. that's there. But it is taking Eliminating middleman. Yeah, not eliminating. Basically, you know, even the startups like some, some <laughs> sort of middleman. Maybe the many <laughs> yeah. people are there. Many people will be there. The chain will be reduced. Otherwise, farmers organization itself, them, themselves, they are more competent to take it up their own processing and value addition and marketing. Uh, then they will be great. They will reach directly to the consumers. During that process, they can reduce the price for consumers and also they can get the better price compared to earlier they are selling. The models are emerging, but it is all isolated cases. It is not across the country same. You know, hmm. our country is not, it's a continent. It's a very diverse country, large number of farmers. Government also trying with large number of programs, but it takes time and uh, small and marginal, large number of holdings. And the problem is somewhere climate change, so many things. It takes time. Everybody trying our same thing, but it takes time and uh, they are doing it. Yeah. So 
say about the twist time i have observed many farmers i went for uh, rave program to some villages they, they still even don't know that government is providing schemes for them so that they can reduce their cost of cultivation it's yeah, it's like right, uh, yeah your point is correct but government also producing schemes for example acabc i was uh, telling uh, across the country we are giving acabc you know what is the every year we train only 6000 but if we see okay. across the country there are 1 lakh agriculture students may be coming or more than that coming this 6000 or 7000 people training it is very small and again government tells in the big way we are giving uh, we are telling uh, there is a subsidy but uh, we may give only for 1000 people subsidy the schemes also it may not able to reach all the people that also it takes time and uh, because schemes whatever uh, available it may not for the 100% of the farmers it may not available many times they tell but we may not be knowing the how many numbers it can support are you getting my point yes sir uh... yeah that's why but uh, once they are getting awareness some farmers are getting that will be good the slowly awareness will come nowadays you no know, lot of uh, mobile application mobile based communi communication become more better and better and uh, farmers will get more awareness and uh, they will uh, avail the support other things government is provided by government it will come okay. like Thank you, you some much. better agriculture officers students will come as agriculture officers their time will change and farmers will get better uh, support from uh, agricultural extension officers it's a good time is coming no problem yeah let's uh, hope for the best actually uh, sir i'll come back to the question of uh, william uh, msc graduate from college of horticulture and forestry uh, as said earlier by our di sir most of the startups at present are by it or mi graduate which is because of the skills they acquired as an agri graduate is it skills that only thing we lack for startups or any other things i am curious about your response to this argument or statement sir please can you once again repeat there is a question where it is answer yeah. the question where it is uh it's there yeah which because this oh yeah i can see yeah. as said earlier by our da sir most of the startups present by it graduates which is because of skills they acquired as an agri graduate skills by only only thing we lack the startups or any other things i am curious about the response yeah it is interesting question and also very pertinent question what happened to agriculture will teach and but we won't make the students for the we won't train the students for the entrepreneurs also to create the startups and again the job opportunities also it is available mostly they will look for the agriculture related job opportunities once we study agriculture we think we know agriculture that's a issue but this it graduates all know for them it is they are very curious about agriculture they don't know agriculture that's why they come with innovative ideas we think that agriculture you are planting seed it is coming what is innovation but they will wonder oh how it's a putting seed how interestingly coming great like that they will tell the idea is curiosity and innovation and the passion for something somehow we every time we will born and brought up any times with agriculture and uh, we study agriculture and all the time but we don't have that much passion for agriculture that's a problem we won't try to innovate something Um, but no they are not having a great skill set but they have a the lot of passion for something and they try to look for new things whatever they see in agriculture for them it's new curious whenever in the startup evaluation you sit no there is interesting they will teach agriculture to us sometime we we'll love same thing they are telling but our agriculture graduates we think we know everything and because same thing only we know we won't think out of the way that's one problem with us and another thing is we won't train our graduate for the entrepreneurs we won't develop the our candidates as say entrepreneurs or we won't look uh, train for them agriculture university is curriculum or uh, teaching it is not for the developing the entrepreneurship that is another issue but many engineering colleges see large number of students they will come with the projects startups they will come from third year onwards that is another thing anyways agriculture students are very bright and they are not lacking the skills but we are not trained for that to develop startups or enterprise that's a issue with our curriculum and our teaching methodology across the country over the years but it's a good thing. now it is changing over the many universities having the startups promoting there are incubation centers you might be knowing some of the iits are announced instead of msc thesis they can start one startup they don't need to submit the thesis the research is starting the own startup maybe like the days will come for agriculture also then it will be time will be changing yeah it's a good question yeah william is very interesting question yeah 
Uh, one more last question, if anyone has to raise their hand. Sir? Umesh, yeah. Who is? Hello? Yeah, Umesh, Umesh Kumar yeah. Singh. Yeah, you can unmute. You can unmute, Umesh, you can unmute. Umesh. Yeah, yeah, you talk, Umesh. I'm living in uh, UP in India. So here I see the many thermal which are cultivated in a potato. Amaze, there is no voice. Your audio is not. Uh... Your audio is very poor. Just can you speak loudly and in front of the mic? So I'm Amaze Kumar Singh. So I live in UP. So can I hear my voice? No. Hello. Can you type otherwise? Hello. Umesh, okay, can you sir. type otherwise? Okay, sir. One more. Yeah. Sir. Yeah, type it uh, by the time anyone, other people, anyone? Yeah, some yeah, some of them they asked about my contact numbers. Just you type the manager address and it, you will get all my phone numbers and uh, my contact details, emails are available. Otherwise, Saravan and Raj Facebook page you can uh, check and you can give the message to me. All the contact details are available online. Otherwise, you can check www.saravanandraj.in. Saravanandraj.in, you can search in website and you will get my own website and contact details. Saravanandraj.net or you can check from manage.gov.in, manage website. Everywhere there is the contact details are available. Yes. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. as uh, you told that ki, uh, we all are concerned that there are a lot of farmers still there don't know about the government schemes and all kind of thing. Why we don't, uh, why there is not such a uh, program that in Rave student, at least for one month, every uh, there should be a program like that every student have to uh, introduce uh, farmers, uh, the new schemes and all the schemes which are government releasing for farmers. I, sh I think the, we should introduce them. Yeah, then it is. Uh, yeah, it is Nancy. It is interesting suggestion actually. Many of the universities, anyway, students are going. Large number of thousands and thousands of students are going villages. Students also learn from what are the schemes for the farmers available, and also they can tell the farmers. That is very interesting. Yeah, one. we don't have to uh, you know invest. Uh, yeah, or, uh, or create another infrastructure for this. Exactly. I think it yeah. is an easy way. That's right. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Raja, uh, there is no other uh, question. Means we can always keep in touch and uh, yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, that last person, he was typing the question and let me see if he has typed it or not. Umesh, uh, you are typing still? Umesh? Miss, huh? are you typing still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, I'm interested to produce a true potato seed in North India. Uh, how to get loan from bank? Umesh Kumar. Umesh, you can uh, go, you can, you need to uh, prepare a DPR and you need to go to the bank, your bank, which is um, your village or native, which is the bank, which is uh, connected, the bank, you need to go and ask. And otherwise, nearby KVK, better to ask whether these type of things they are giving loan or not like that. Uh, that will be fine. You need to go and your own district, kindly discuss with KVKs or uh, banks, those who are uh, service banks for the, your particular uh, area. And uh, that manager can meet and ask. Normally, they will tell the answer correctly. We may not uh, right person to tell whether these type of things they are giving loan or not in North India. What to miss? Okay, Raja. Thank you very much, Raja. Okay, sir. Uh, let me conclude. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for uh, giving the first uh, lecture on session on agri business and agri startup uh, experiences and opportunities for a, a participant. Uh, there are more than uh, 2,411 participants have registered. It's an overwhelming response sir, after seeing your, uh, you know, advertising, and uh, it is a privilege to have you. Uh, this evening to share with us uh, what are the new startups and and you have uh, spoken rightly about the agri clinics and uh, um, that uh, Rabi and Raftar programs and other schemes. Thank you very much, sir, for sparing your valuable time. Uh, now I request all the participants. Uh,
please, uh, uh, we will be, uh, it's not just like uh, uh, viewing, uh, we will be sending the quiz two tomorrow, quiz one and two tomorrow. Uh, so please be ready for that. I have noted uh, more than four, 460 maximum came on Zoom and uh, more than 100 uh, viewers on the Zoom. So if you are not viewed it, join it through Zoom and uh, YouTube link. And uh, I request you to 